this thing has absolutely dominated every zone so far. If it does it here, I'm gonna be very surprised. <laughs> oh, oh, it did it. Oh, it did it. The best ball of 2024 gets a tour version. What's up guys, Brunsnick's back and it's time to introduce the Hammer Effect Tour. Now the Hammer Effect Tour has the Huntsman Tour Core, which is lower differential for less flare and more control. And it's paired with the Tour V3 solid cover. Now I can't wait to see what this new ball does on the lanes for me with Specto running, of course. But before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's see what this new Hammer Effect Tour does out on the lanes. All right, let's talk about this exciting ball. First off, let's start with that core. The radio discs on the bottom have been removed to lower the differentials. So now the RG is 2.47, differentials 036, intermediate 012. And going back to the roots of the control balls from NB Tour Obsession Tour, this has a Tour V3 solid cover. Finished 500, 1500. Solid color, can't wait to see what this does. I got Specto running. Bowling on crown jewel pattern, it's fresh, it's got 43 feet, 22, 23 units, big pile of oil in the middle, dry to the outside. So, so these kind of bowling balls, really good at controlling the pattern no matter what you're bowling on, usually from straighter angles. Bowling balls like this, you typically do not get in and hook it, but for those that have higher rev rates or maybe rev dominant, you sure can. These bowling balls are great from all different angles for those kind of bowlers. So I'm gonna try it out, we're gonna move it in, and we're gonna see what this Hammer Effect Tour can do. A lot of anticipation, and I know that people are gonna be excited about this release. So let's give it a shot. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Did I mention that this ball has 500, 1500 grit? Uh, not a lot of flare. You can see we only got about this much flare, about three inches of flare. That's kind of what you want to see out of this ball. You don't want to see flaring across the whole ball. You're not going to get that. So let's wipe off the one or two oil rings that are there and try it again. Obviously with a ball this dull, I mean speed, you got to keep it up or bring the surface up a little bit. You know, these are balls that are made to dig in and read the pattern. That's good. That's good. Less grabby at the bottom, just kind of send it down the lane. Let the ball take over. I mean, there's a reason why bowling balls like Obsession Tour, Envy Tour, always mainstays in the bag. I mean, Envy Tour made my Nationals bag two years in a row. I think that was the only ball besides my purple that made it both of the last years. That's just a testament to how good a bowling ball like that is and why bowling balls like that should be in your bag. Not only just your league bag, but your tournament bag. Let's try it one more shot there. Cool looking ball. I mean, old school look, just single color. They don't try to do anything crazy. And then the bright pink logos. That's hooking, hooking. Oh, I got the nine out. Good continuation through there. I thought that was gonna go high at first. You, know, you want these balls to be like roided up urethane balls. You know, like your purple wants to set up at 30 feet and kind of walk in the pocket. That's kind of what you want to see out of bowling balls like the Hammer Effect Tour. You want something that's going to start early, blend out the back end, and not be susceptible to those five count, eight count splits, bad stuff. Let's move it in. Let's go 20 board. So we move five, we'll see how this does. I think this zone is gonna be so perfect for this ball. So perfect for this ball. Man, that thing just ripped through the pins. I don't know if that was a weird rack or what, but that thing just kind of hit more like half flush, not really like super high flush. And then it continued through the eight nine like it was nothing. Might be able to see a little bit more flare. Nah, not at all. Not a lot of oil on the ball either. Aggressive cover and it doesn't have HK22. 
You know, bowling balls, you know, you don't always have to have HK22. We don't put that stuff on everything. For the balls, we want to be tamer, earlier, smoother. We have other options. We got all sorts of cover stock options. Let's try one more shot there. What a cool ball. I mean, right around holiday season, everybody's gonna want this ball. It's in a little bit. Here it goes. So good. God, like honestly, in the given market, can anything really beat a hammer ball? I mean, I made the call back in March whenever the hammer effect came out and said, best ball 2024. And I think I stuck to my guns. I don't think there's a better release. You tell me, the best tour release now? Best tournament release of 2024? Is that what this video is gonna be called? It just might be. I'm gonna throw one more shot there. This ball's gonna be so fun to throw, I just know it. And it might struggle from in. When I start moving in, it might struggle. But all that matters is how does the ball perform when you're playing in the zones it was designed to perform in? And playing the first two zones, it's phenomenal. This ball is phenomenal. That's all I gotta say. It's exactly as advertised. There's going to be a lot of hype. You know, I don't know how you put hype on a ball that's meant to play straighter lanes, you know, and control patterns. You know, all the cool hype videos are kind of, you know, when the balls kind of bend hard on the back end and flip hard. But this is a gritty performer. So let's move it into another five. We're definitely going to put this ball to the test as we move further in. With a ball that doesn't flare a lot, it may labor on the back end as we move in. We'll find out. Okay, that's the first sign when a ball is starting to, not necessarily labor, but getting too much angle in the front part and not able to recover down lane. That's usually the first thing. The ball comes in behind the head pin, wrap 10. Now, better than a flat 10, I can adjust for a wrap 10, and that's usually with bringing the speed down ever so slightly. We just want that ball to tip a little sooner so it creates a little bit of a smoother arc to the pocket. Once it gets set up sooner, then it'll carry out that 10. It won't even have an issue with it. So that's the idea here is bring the speed down a skosh. Uh-oh, got it way out wide. <laughs> Miss. Yeah, that was a little Roger Dorn action. Ole, out the window. But set up fine, didn't overreact to the dry, and that's what these bowling balls do. They don't stand up to friction and go sideways. They bleed out that, that energy when you hit that friction and doesn't over-respond. That's exactly what you want. Let's throw more shot there. I feel like uh, I haven't thrown a great shot yet. So slower and more in is what I want. Like that. Okay. Responds well. To the minor changes that I make at the line, the minor adjustments in speed and axis rotation. So, first three zones, A plus. So let's move it in. We'll be 15 left, standing on 30. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the same, where I'm gonna keep the mindset, keeping the speed a little bit lower and just getting around the side of it. I just want to see if I can get this ball to tip and go through the pins. That's all I want to see. What do you say? That's pretty impressive. I was expecting like, I don't know what I was expecting it to be honest. I was expecting it to maybe just like jump off the spot, but it was just real tame off the spot, saved a lot of energy for the pins, went through it. Now it didn't finish like over the eight pin or anything. I probably finished somewhere around 17 and a half, somewhere 18 maybe, I don't know. But it looked pretty good. Let's throw another shot there. Same thing. I'm not going to change a thing. Hook a lot. Yep. Now that one slowed down and went through the pins perfect. Wow. 
Yeah, this is immediately going into the bag. Probably gonna throw this in league this week. Start it out and then probably move into something. I don't know what I'll move to. There's a lot of options. We just announced six more bowling balls. So I'll have a lot of options to throw. But let's move it one more time. Let's go 20 left. End of the road, standing 35. This thing has absolutely dominated every zone so far. If it does it here, I'm gonna be very surprised. <laughs> oh, it did it. Oh, it did it. All right. That's usually the telltale sign that you need to go out and pre-order this ball. If I eight pin with it, it's probably a damn good ball. Hammer effect tour, eight pinning from the furthest spot, 20 left. That is insane. I was expecting more of like 10 pin, wrap 10, you know, that kind of hit, light mixer maybe, but not that. Eight pin from this angle. That is so awesome. <laughs> Oh, man. Yes. How good is this ball? How good can hammer balls get? They just keep getting better and better. You know, we got bowling balls that hook a mile. We got bowling balls that flip a ton. We got bowling balls that control the pocket and that are versatile from every part of the lane, like this hammer effect tour. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move it back. I'm gonna move it back to, I don't know, 10 left. Pick a spot, this ball was awesome. Pretty much everywhere I threw it. I mean, you do agree? I agree. So I'm gonna go back to uh, 25, give it a little bit of a swing, and we're gonna end this video on a high note. This ball has just been unbelievably good. I was expecting something way different. Hang on. Look at that. You gotta be kidding me. I'm tripping four pins with it too. It's insane. Guys, and 4% ladies, I can't say enough about this new Hammer Effect Tour. That Huntsman Tour Core, the changes they made to it, the resulting numbers as part of it, and the cover matched, all the technology is there for controlling patterns, playing any part of the lane you want, and just striking at will. So that's all for the Hammer Effect Tour. If you got this ball based on this review, please let me know. I love hearing that kind of stuff. And as always, check out the merch, Inside Bowling. Appreciate all the support. Please subscribe. See you on another video.